look, Jim. You look real good, good Curtis. How's everybody doing on this B-E-A-U-T-R-L day? My name is Courteous Curtis, and today I'm going to give you all some tips and tricks on how to be a more courteous and safer driver. Does that sound good, everybody? All right, amazing grace, how sweet. Oh, sorry, sometimes I can't help myself. All right, tip number one, and go. When approaching a stop sign, stop. I know, a rolling stop doesn't count. I'm talking a real stop because it's the law or else you have to pay a $253 fine. All right, tip number two, always use your turn signals when you're changing or merging lanes. I'm gonna tell you a little secret, ready? I don't read minds. How am I supposed to know you wanna go left? Oh, that went flying. Tip number three, always stay in the right lane except when passing on the interstate. Also, no one likes Grandpa Joe going 25 miles an hour in the left lane. No one. Oh, look. Here he is now. That's, that's my grandpa Joe. How you doing, Joe? Ah! Also, don't drive in the bike lane. Remember, you're in a car. If you hit a cyclist, the only thing protecting their bum is see-through leotards. Tip number four. When you're driving on a small local road, don't start revving up your engines to show off. Just because you bought an official DeLorean during your midlife crisis doesn't mean everybody wants to hear you reach 88 miles per hour. What you're gonna wanna do is park it up front, view it from your window, and go back to the furniture. And tip number five. Let me tell you something. If someone cuts you off, instead of freaking out, flipping the middle finger and shouting, Mother Instead, do what every other normal Karen does. Go home, pour yourself a generous glass of Chardonnay, and take it out on your children. It works way easier. In conclusion, if you follow my road tips, you'll be a more safe and courteous driver faster than you can spell Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-I-S-